Hello everyone, let's talk about mean and variance of discrete probability distribution. Without further ado, let's get this lesson started. In our previous video, napag-usapan na natin kung ano yung ibig sabihin ng discrete probability distribution at kung paano siya binubuo. If hindi mo pa napapanood ang video na yon, ilalagay ko yung link dito sa upper right corner ng video na ito. When we talk about the mean of discrete probability distribution, this is just the sum of the products of each x and its probability. So, i-multiply lang natin yung x at yung p of x, tapos i-add natin lahat ng products nila. Or the summation of x times p of x. As for the variance in standard deviation, when we say variance, kinukuha lang natin yung x squared and then imumultiply sa p of x. Kung ano-ano yung product na to, iya-add lang natin sila. Kapag alam na natin yung sum, imaminus natin yung square ng mean. So, kailangan alam muna natin yung mean ng discrete probability distribution. And once we have identified the variance, we can just get its square root to determine the standard deviation. To better understand, gamitin natin ito sa una nating example. Suppose you toss two coins and x represents the number of tails. Its probability mass function is shown below. So, given na ito. Kung hindi pa given si probability mass function or si probability distribution, kailangan mo pa siyang i-determine. So, we have to identify the mean, the variance, and the standard deviation. So, mean muna. Ang gagawin ng mean, yung bawat x ay multiply sa p of x and then we just add their product. So, this is 0 times 1 fourth plus 1 times 1 half plus 2 times 1 fourth. This will be 0 plus 1 half plus 2 fourths na kapag inad ay equal sa 1. So, ito yung kanyang mean. Next, for the variance, we have to add 2 rows sa ating table. The third row should contain x squared. So, kuhanin natin yung mga square ng x. Uh, 0 squared is 0, 1 squared is 1, 2 squared is 4. Yung third row, i-multiply natin sa second row. So, 0 times 1 fourth, that is 0. 1 half times 1, that's 1 half. And 1 fourth times 4, that's 1. Sabi sa formula ni variance, kuhanin daw natin yung summation ng x squared times p of x. Or in other words, yung sum ng fourth row. Minus mean squared. Getting the sum of this fourth row, we have 0 plus 1 half plus 1. That will result to 3 halves or 1.5. So, this is 3 halves minus mean squared. So, 1 squared. 3 halves minus 1 will result to 1 half. Or 0 0.5. Any of these two will do. Next, for the standard deviation, we just get the square root of the variance. So, the square root of 1 half. Kapag kinuha na natin ang square root ng 1 half, we can just round this off to the second decimal number. We will have 0 0.7071, diba? So, kapag kinuha natin yung kanyang rounded off value, we have 0 0.71. So, ito ngayon yung ating standard deviation. Let's move to the second example. Dito naman sa second example, meron tayong given na probability distribution na rin, which talks about the number of people na mapiplace on hold sa isang call sa isang talk show. So, ito, yung uh, x, it 
will again stand for the number of people na magiging on hold. And ito yung kanilang probability. So again, we need to determine the mean, the variance, and the standard deviation. Nagdagdag din ako ng third and fourth row para sa inyo computation for the variance and standard deviation. I'll pause for a while, siguro 5 seconds lang, or pwede mo ring i-pause yung video. After 5 seconds, mag-resume tayo ng ating discussion for example number 2. Recall that the mean is just the summation of x times p of x. So we have 0 times 0 0.18. 1 times 0 0.34, 2 times 0 0.23, 3 times 0 0.21, and 4 times 0 0.04. So multiplying them, we have 0 plus 0 0.34 plus 0 0.46 plus 0 0.63, plus 0 0.16. And adding them, we have 1.59. So, ito ngayon yung mean ng ating probability distribution. Next, to get the variance, kompletuhin muna natin yung table. We have for the third row, square natin yung mga entries ng first row. We have 0, 1, 4, 9 and 16. Multiply natin ang mga ito sa entries ng second row. So, this will be 0. This will be 0 0.34. This will be 0 0.92. The next one will be 1.89. And finally, for this last entry, we have 0 0.64. I-add na rin natin yung mga entries ng last row. This will result to 3.79. Gagamitin natin yan sa variance. So, for the variance, meron tayong summation of x squared times p of x minus mean squared. So, itong summation na to, yan ay yung 3.79 minus 1.59 squared. We can directly input this in our calculator, 3.79 minus parenthesis 1.59 squared. The answer will result to 1.2619, or kung i-round off natin, this is just 1.26. And finally, to get its standard deviation, we will just take the square root of 1.26 and round the answer to the second decimal number our standard deviation is 1.12 so ganyan tayo mag solve ng mean ng variance at ng standard deviation ng discrete probability distribution